Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this one is quite a chunky one. It's a three signature journal. Um, I've used a lot of things that I've already previously made uh, when I was making tags and stuff that's been printed out. So it was quite easy to kind of throw this one together. Um, it is a kind of semi soft cover. Um, I've used uh, using up all the cards, the designer cardstock, like 12 by 12s that I don't like. So, but uh, some of the weights are they're actually quite thick. So, um, you've I've got digital paper and coffee dyed paper um, on top of them as well, so they are quite sturdy. We have got a fabric spine here. I've used my pink and shears just to give it a little decorative edge there. Um, as you can see, three signatures. The journal measures eight and a quarter by four and three quarters one and a half no one and a quarter inch spine and it is quite rounded the spine as you can see it's not a flat a flat spine i couldn't get that out then um a flat spine <laughs> it's not a flat spine it is a um curved okay this paper here is from the journal bolt and let's just take that little bit away Okay, uh, there's a shabby collection. I can't remember the name of it. Here we've just got a pocket. Um, this is from the journal bolt as well. We've got two layers of lace here, and then this little kind of uh, it's like a flat back pearl string thing. Can you hear that car? That is actually up on the main road. Um, I live on a little like kind of private estate, um, and that is literally on the, the main road. Noisy sorts. Anyway, sorry about that. So I've just put uh, an assortment of beads on the end here. I've made this tag. Uh, the image is from Artie Mays. Uh, this is for uh, digital washi from chapter one. Butterflies, Artie Mays, and that is uh, the old design shop. I can't speak. <laughs> the old design shop. And that just goes in there. And that's just a stenciled coffee light tag. And we have fabric as a closure. And look how chunky that is. The centre signature is um, just writing coffee dyed paper just for writing or it can be decorated is entirely up to whoever gets this this is for sale um you will find that in my shop the link to my shop is below okay so um i do love how that came out anyway this was some scrapbooking paper and it's just a little flip and you can tuck things inside here. That's a little pocket. I didn't put things in there because I thought this was getting big enough and, you know, I want people to be able to use the journals that I make. Um, so here we have got a, uh, excuse me, a tag. It's really dry in here. I've got both my heaters on because it's actually quite cold today. So I'm just going to take a little sip of coffee. Oh, that's better. So, yep, tag in there. Um, images from Artie Mays. Here we have got, um, I had these made up, just popped on some Tim Holtz uh, dies. I can't remember the name of these. Some four stitching, a little butterfly there. Tag that is from Tag Fabrication. These images here are from Artie Mays. They are from the portrait collection random portraits i think and this is the old design shop and that goes in there is that open i can't remember no it's not tag is from Artie Mays. this is bohemian crafting some digital washi and a little number label a little tab here corner tuck a tag another tag so i hope everyone is doing well um, this is from TaylorMade Journals. And we have that from Tracy Fox. This is the, uh, I think that might be Tsunami Rose. This is uh, Artie Mays, French Ephemera Kit number two. That goes there. And some punching with my Bind It All. And I've got these. Uh, paper clips um, everybody's done these like showed you how to do them 
um, very easy to do. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm saying everybody, everybody's done these. And the only person I can think of off the top of my head is Artie Mays. <laughs> um, but loads of people have done them. This is Artie Mays. That's annoying me now because I know there's so many people um, that's done that. This is from um, Dreams Etc. And that goes on there. Got some little cluster there of digital washi labels and a butterfly. Got a pocket here. We got a big tag. That is a freebie from my coffee shop. And that is a tag stamped. And a library card there. Here we've got a little a little tag there, a little corner tuck here, little um I'm always saying little, it's a little this, it's a little that. It's just a journal card <laughs> and it's that size. <laughs> um a tag, a lace trim, some coffee dyed papers. Oh and that's the beads on that one. We've got, this is a freebie from my coffee shop. That's an Edith Holden book page. And that, you can tuck things in there. That flips out. Got a little tag and a little uh, positive quote tag. Here is little tag. There, it's me back to saying little again. Um, just must be like in my brain. <laughs> Uh, butterflies, Artie Mays. I think all oh, that's Artie Mays actually. Little cluster here. I can't help saying that. I don't know, I'm noticing how often I say it. That is from the old design shop. That is a freebie on the um, the blog. And that is Dreams Etc. So once I get my voice back, I was thinking of doing uh, maybe one night a week just doing a live <coughs> here on YouTube and just making things, you know, not necessarily um, like making anything like new, but just crafting and having a chat with you. I used to do it. We've got new internet now, which is good. Um, I used to do it before. I haven't done it in a while, but my internet was rubbish. But we have got new internet and it is much, much better. And here we have a tag and a journal card there. Little cluster here. Some tags. Little cluster there. So that is, this is the center or the second signature. And it's just coffee dyed paper because it would have been too much to decorate that, I think, you know. But it could be decorated a little bit, or it could be just for writing. These papers are from the journal bolt, so that's that. Here's another flip up, but nothing in it, it's just ready for you to pop stuff inside. <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> dearie dum dums. <coughs> there we have a tag. And we have another tag here. A This is from, who is that from? I think this is from the old design shop. And it's not a freebie, it's um, the French document kit. Little cluster here, Bohemian Crafting. Little journal card there. A tag, a postcard and a tag there. Some lined paper, some lace trim. Um, who's that from? The old design shop, I think. Here we have another tag. And some more French ephemera. That is from the old design shop. Oh, and with this as well. Oh, I'm going to grab it now before I forget. Before I forget. Okay. Right, I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> I'm just going to throw something in with this as an extra. Um, so whoever buys this, you'll get what that is in a minute. <laughs> okay. Tag. Another tag. Little bingo card and a library card there. Edith Holden book page. 
here we have a positive quilt tag and a stamped coffee dyed tag okay and there we have a pocket and some tags and that goes in there coffee dyed paper and another pocket tag tag and tag this is from Tracy Fox field knots layered tags as you can hear my voice is getting a little bit better not quite and I think the allergies are not helping either absolutely I stayed at my son's on Saturday night to babysit and you know what I wasn't bothered in the slightest no coughing and no sneezing and nothing I come home last night I was coughing I was sneezing I had itchy eyes and I'm taking antihistamines and they're just the rubbish they're not working I think like the pollen's like super pollen <laughs> um yeah and it's just tree pollen that gets to me um grass and other stuff doesn't really bother me um so the tree pollen should be over soon and I should get a little bit of peace from it all uh that's a freebie over on my coffee shop um i've actually do you know what i've actually got a little kit coming up and it's just like background papers marbly effects and things like that um that i'm going to be sharing i just need to get it all sorted and time to set on photoshop and have a play around with it because i haven't had a lot of time to do that and then when i do go in in the evening um there's always somebody on the computer doing something so that goes there. I love these. I've got to make more. That was the last lot. The last lot. Um, I think it was the last lot. Keep finding things that I've made <laughs> because it gets buried underneath stuff. Had a little bit of a sort out today as well um, and tidied up, kind of. It's an organised mess, put it that way. Some more French ephemera. Yeah, I can see a little bit of space now. Uh, this is a freebie from Artie Mace from, I think it might have been last month. I'm not sure. Little flip there. Another little tag here. And that flips out. So that goes there. another one of these and that goes there and then here we've got a little tag a book thingy bobber what do you call that library card <laughs> i know it's something to do with books um tracy fox field knots layer tags and a little cluster there and that is the back so that is this little journal. Did I tell you? It's got three signatures. It's got 104 pages front and back with the possibility of adding more pages to it, as in adding in flip pages. If you've seen some of my journals, um, you'll see it's quite easy. I'm going to show you quickly. Um, oh, she says, right, let me just grab a piece of paper. Just pretend this is something fancy, right? So I would just maybe do that. And I know that's a little bit too big right there. So I'm going to tear a little bit off, just like so. And then I would fold that up, not quite to the edge. Okay, and that's going to be a little bit too long. So tear that bit off. Right, so if you want to add in additional like writing space or uh, creating something else so you could just fold that over like so and you could you can decorate that i would run a bit of glue down here glue that down that would be a tuck and then here you would have your extra flip out page like so so easy to do um I think I may have showed how to do that. I can't remember. I've got so many videos. Right. The little extra with this. Um, oh, I love that. Um, is one of these. So I've, I actually gave one of these away um, with another journal that I sold. Um, I made three of these up. I showed them on Instagram and 
uh, Facebook possibly. These were inspired by Roxy's creations uh, on her week 10, is it Roxy, Roxy's weekly challenge. <coughs> and it's just um, a bundle of ephemera. If you want to go and see how she, she done them, then go over and see. So I just made this, made three of them up. So I'm going to chuck this one in with that as an extra. They literally take you, once you've, if you've got real ephemera, you're ready to go. If you're printing digital ephemera, once you've printed it and cut it to size, they literally take you five, ten minutes to put together. So that's just going in there so that it stays there. It, it goes with the journal when it is purchased. Um, there we go. Okay. So there we have it. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.